Hey peoples, DMX101, nice to see you back. Now, the last couple of series, we've last couple of parts of the series that we've done, we've covered everything from right cables. Once you've got your right cables, we looked at addressing your lights. And then finally, we got hold of the first DMX board. That episode, we showed you the reaction of the DMX board to the sliders and the lights, etc. This time, we're now going to try and get into scenes, chases, and running those chases. Right, DMX, as I said before, is broken down into scenes and chases. The way it works is when you set the sliders, that is a scene for each light, and you record that scene. Then to make them all flash, if we're using parkans, change colours if we're using park hands or even if we're using movers to get them to actually do their actions what you have to do is then program all of those scenes into a chase which joins all the scenes together and runs them to the beat of the music or runs them on a timeline depending on how you set up your DMX board and that's what we're going to take a look at now okay peoples Scenes, banks and chases. Before you can program anything, we have to program a scene. And the easiest way to do that is follow these. This is a pretty generic board, so you've got a good idea of what we're doing. Hold down the program button, and you'll see all the lights jump in like that. We want to program a scene, so what we'll do is get rid of what's already set there like that and we'll go for light number one and we'll have it blue once you program that we need to select the bank that we're going to put it in there's eight scenes to a bank and I'm selecting bank 30 because I know there's nothing in there and it's not going to harm anything I've got programmed into my board at the moment we need to hit record and we need to hit scene number one where we want to store it and as you do so you can just see all the lights on the board flash once we've got scene one return to zero because we don't want that light on on the next scene and we'll select light number two and we'll also turn that blue We then that, want that to go on to scene two. So if we press record and scene two, you can see them all flash again to tell you that it's recorded. The next one, when we return to scene to zero, select light number three, and that two is going to be blue. And we'll then hit record and we'll put that in scene number three. That's three scenes programmed. We're going to add three more to it just so that you can really see and we'll this time have all of our lights on and we'll turn them all green. That one we're going to hit record and put it into scene four return it to zero we're going to have all of our lights on and blue record again scene five and finally we'll have all of our lights red and we're going to record that into scene six just to fill the rest of the scene up so that there isn't any gaps in the chase We'll have all of our lights green, well, aqua. Record that to scene seven. And finally, we'll have them all purple. And we'll record that to scene eight. Return everything to zero. And there you have setting your scenes. So now, if we take it out of programming mode, 
take the back out button off and we look at bank 20, 20, uh, 30 we press scene 1 we've got our one blue light our next blue light our next one all on green all on blue all on red all on aqua and all on purple simple as that okay now we have our scenes and banks programmed what we need to do is get the scene over into a chase so that these scenes will flash one after the other the time and the uh, fade or the speed and the fade whichever way you look at it it's different on each board but this is a generic board I usually leave I know it's at the bottom but I leave them at their maximums working as DJs we will usually use it flashing with the beat of the music or we use it on a timed scene and we want it to move quite quickly from scene to scene that's the time it takes it leaves on a scene and the fade is how long it takes to fade from one light over to the other we want a flash rather than a fade so we want it to be as quick as possible hence the way it's set up when you play back you can alter these times just by altering the faders and it will slow things down for you okay then getting the scenes into the chase what we need to do is put it into programming mode take the blackout off so as we can see what we're doing select the bank that we're going to use which is bank 30 scene 1 and what we need to do is select the chase that we're going to program it into select the scene and press MIDI record and you see it all flash to say it's there select the same bank again but we want scene 2 the chase it's going into and MIDI record again number 3 and MIDI record okay as I showed you before you're putting them one at a time these scenes and banks into the chases if you want to copy the whole bank instead of just liking one scene from one bank and one scene from another the easiest way to do this is copy the whole bank to do so we hold down program to put it into programming mode we select the chase that we want to copy it into we select the bank we want to copy and then we hit bank copy and MIDI record you see it all flash and in that instant it has all gone over to that chase now you can sit back and enjoy your hard work by turning off the programming mode select chase one and we select either auto or music trigger we're selecting auto so that you can see it go through one at a time there you have it you've just programmed your first chase next time what we're going to be looking at is programming moving heads for you on the same board not that it's any different to what you've just seen but there's a few more sliders involved because there's a few more channels involved on a moving head and it'll just instill a little bit of confidence if somebody talks you through it until then catch you later